Hi, my name is Eran, and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today, I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, this portrait is looking amazing. But before we start retouching this portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you will find their own file and their touching actions so here we have the makeup artist retouching actions 2023 and we have the clean just click on clean and the spot healing brush tool is already chosen so we are going to clean this portrait with these three amazing tools so i'm going to start with the spot healing brush tool and i will zoom in here where i want to start cleaning this portrait so, as I said in the beginning, don't forget to check the links because you will find this RAW file and the other ROVs. Uh, you can join my Telegram channel where I put all the RAW files that I have been using in my previous video tutorials. Also, I will be posting more RAW files because all the new video tutorials that I will be posting from now on. So, make sure to join my Telegram channel and also if you want to get these uh, actions that I am using right now, you can check the link in the description uh, because you will find the Gumroad account or my Gumroad shop where you will find all the actions that I have been using for the retouch. So if you want to follow my step-by-step -step process that I am doing right now, just go get the retouching actions and start following my step-by-step. -step. And by the end of this video tutorial, you will be like a pro into the retouch. So let's just uh, keep cleaning this portrait and we will proceed with the frequent separation and dodge and burn and some makeup details also with a color grade by the ending. So stick to the end and you will be amazed by the results you will get on the end of this video tutorial. In Photoshop, as you can see, a before and after, and I think that is looking amazing. Now, just uh, right click and merge these layers into a single one. You can turn on the black and white and clear and leave it there for a dodge and burn. So, click on the dodge and burn, click play, open the dodge and burn, and click on the dodge. So, if you want to dodge and burn like a professional, just click here on the window, arrange, and select new window. Go again to window, arrange and select two of vertical. The reason why I'm doing this is because on the left window, we are going to leave this window and zoom out and we're in the right window, we will zoom in. So where we want to dodge and burn, so we don't have to zoom in and zoom out every time that you are working. I'm going to start with a dodge with a white brush and 10% opacity and 55% of the flow. I'm going to start dodging this portrait. So. Uh, keep an eye here so everything that we do on the right window it will show up in the left window too so this is the best way to dodge and burn So here's a before and after what we've done so far with the dodge and burn and I think that is looking amazing. Now you can check only the dodge. Now you can check the burn and for the burn I think that I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little. Now just merge the background and the dodge and burn. Now you can close the left window. Check a before and after again. I think it's looking okay. Now open the actions. Click on frequency separation and click play. Open the frequency separation group. Uh, we are going to work first on the color and after we are done with the color, we will proceed to the texture. So just turn on the texture now because this is how we work on the frequency separation. Click on the mixer brush. The right settings for the mixer brush are wet 10%, load by 45, mix 22 and flow by 33. You can zoom in just a little and start mixing the skin tones with the highlights and everything else in the portrait where we want to make some changes in the skin.
So here's the before and after of the frequency separation, only the color. Now click on the dodge and burn and click play because we're going to work again with the dodge and burn to put some highlights and contours into this portrait. So turn on the black and white help layer again, click on dodge, click B for brush and 100% opacity and 20% or maybe 30% flow. Let's just paint where we want to put some highlights into this portrait. Now click on the burn and you're going to burn just a little on the cheeks, a little on the eyebrows, just a little around the forehead, just a little under the lips. Now check it before and after, check it before and after only the dodge and burn. And I think that is okay, but I'm going to lower the entire group by 80%. Check it before and after again. And I think that is okay. Now that you're done with the color in the low frequency and the dodge and burn inside the frequency separation, it's time to work on the texture. So in the texture, we are going to work with the clone stamp tool. Zoom in where we want to clean, for example, here and click the clone stamp tool, hold alt keyboard and click to make a sample or to copy and just paint it here to paste. So this is the right way to work with the clone stamp tool in the texture. This method is used uh, for cleaning too. So if you want to start cleaning in the beginning, you can just make a frequent separation and start cleaning in the texture. So here's a before and after of what we've done so far into this portrait. Now that we're done with the frequent separation, it's time to put some makeup details into this portrait. So I'm just gonna add eyeshadows that says pick a color. I'm gonna create three empty layers and click on the first one. And I'm gonna choose a color, for example, that is on the lips, a pink color. And I'm gonna go maybe with a brighter one, just like that. Zoom in where we want to make some changes. For example, the eye makeup and just paint it. Now check it before and after. And I think that is looking amazing, but I think that I'm going to go with the color that is on the lips, this kind of lighter pink, zoom in and just paint it. You can delete the first one and click on the second one and just paint. You can zoom out and check it before and after. I think it's looking okay, but I'm going to lower the opacity of that one and click on the other one. So I'm going to choose a lighter color of this pink color just for the highlights. And now that we are done with the highlights, you can pick a darker color of this pink. I think that this one will be enough and just paint it on the sides. Now check it before and after. Yeah, I think it's okay, but I'm going to lower this by 50%. Now check it before and after. Click on the smoky eyes, click play, zoom in and just paint on the sides because we want to make this makeup a little darker. You can always lower the opacity of that. Now click here that says darken eyelashes, click play, zoom in and with 100% brush, just paint it over the eyelashes. We want to make them darker. So here's before and after. I think it's okay, but we are going to lower this by 22. Now that we are done with the makeup details uh, you can just click on the eyes retouch click play click continue click ok and click on the brightening this one is for the white of the eyes so just paint inside the white of the eyes to make them brighter make sure to do the same process in both of them lower the opacity by 50% click on the eyeball lightning and just paint inside the eyeballs don't forget to do that process in both of them. Zoom out to check it before and after. 
I think it's okay, but eyeballs looks kind of too much, so I'm gonna go by 50%. Now check a before and after. I think it's okay, but I'm gonna lower the entire group by 75. Now check a before and after again. I think it's okay. Now that we are done with the eyes uh, details, just click on the cheeks, click play. Zoom in and just paint it on the cheeks to make them into a cherry look. Check it before and after. And if you think it's too much, you can always lower, but I think that this one is fine. Now click on the lipstick color, click play. Turn on a lipstick that is inside the lipstick color group. Zoom in into the lips and just paint it. You can zoom out and open the lipstick group and check them one by one. And if you think that none of them fits your style, you can just double click here and choose the right color for your lips. And I think that I'm going to stick with this one, but I'm going to lower the opacity of the entire group by 20% because I don't want to make uh, big changes here. So we are done with the lipstick, cherry cheeks, eyes retouch and everything else. Now it's time for some finish and export settings. So just click on the sharpen. Click on play and continue. Click OK. Click continue. And as you can see, the layer mask is dark. So inverted by control and I zoom in and here's before and after all the sharpness I think it's okay but I'm gonna go by 65% now click on the basic contrast click play lower this by 50% click on the face contour click play and check before and after all this amazing action you can just double click here and you can make changes in the highlights into the midtones just like that and into the shadows so here's before and here's after now that you are done with uh, retouch you can just make another copy of the background hold shift keyboard and click on the clean that is here right click and group from layers rename this group retouch double click uh, sorry, just drag and drop this to make another copy. Right click and click on merge group. So here's a before and after again. Click Ctrl and A to make a selection of this entire window. Cl uh, click Ctrl C to copy. Go to File, New and click Create. Just paste it here. Merge this into a single one. And now it's time for the color grade. So I'm going to open the color grade light scale and choose the right color grade for this portrait. And I think that A2 is okay for me. So just uh, click on the move tool and drag and drop this into the original window. Here's a before and after all the color grade. You can open the color grade group and check these settings one by one. And maybe make some changes. For example, in the black and white. So I'm going to go by 22%. And if you think that is okay, you can leave it as this. And if you want to put more settings, like I'm doing with the color balance, I'm going to go into the highlights and put highlights more into red, into yellow. As you can see before and after. Lower this by 32. Now click here again on the color balance. And now for the shadows, you can make changes. For example, putting this into cyan, into the blue, just like that. Lower this by 20% and click on the selective color. Click on the reds and make some changes in the red color. Lower the opacity of it by 22% and check it before and after all this amazing color grade. Now here's before and here's after retouch. You can zoom in to check before after before and after retouch with the color grade 
So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something from this tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and retouching actions. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.